My body care routine is more like a ritual to me. I use this time to treat my body with kindness and care, and I really take my time. Each action and every product are intentional and serve a specific purpose. If you're interested in learning about my routine, then let's get into it. So let's start with my shower routine. My upper body skin is very susceptible to body acne. I break out very easily, so I always wash my body after I do my hair. And I use the Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit Body Clear Body Wash with 2% salicylic acid to keep my skin as clear as possible. As you can see, I am nearly finished with this, but fear not, I have a backup. <laughs> this stuff really works. I've been using it for the past two years and it not only cleared up my skin when I had a really bad breakout, but it also helps me maintain clear skin. I will probably never stop using this stuff. Now, I use a different body wash for the rest of my body because I don't break out in any other area of my body. I found that using that salicylic acid wash on the rest of my body made my skin really dry. So instead, I use a fragrance-free body wash by Necessaire. As you can see, this is also on its last leg, but I also have a backup. <laughs> I love this stuff. It's silky, lightweight, and it lathers very, very nicely. And I like using fragrance-free body wash because I also use it for like my vulva area and I like using other products after the shower to smell good. So I just like using this solely to cleanse my body. The washcloth that I use is made from natural fibers and it lightly exfoliates the skin. I use this every time I take a shower and I find that it's just not too harsh. It keeps my skin smooth and regularly exfoliated. I'll leave a link for it in the description box down below. I also shave in the shower. I don't use shaving creams because they make a mess in my bathtub. I will usually just use my body wash to shave. I also don't shave very often because I don't really have a lot of body hair. I shave my legs probably like once a month, but when I do, ooh, it just feels so good to like moisturize my legs and then get underneath like a comfy blanket. Ugh, wow, one of life's greatest pleasures. So now that we're done in the shower, I put on my cozy robe that I literally just got and my slippers and I head to my bedroom. Since I shaved my legs, I like to use the Tower 28 Beauty Daily Rescue Facial Spray, except I use it on my legs. <laughs> uh, this contains hypochlorous acid, which is a disinfectant that is really popular in medical settings because of how gentle it is on the skin. So I basically use this like an aftershave. My skin can get so dry and itchy, so I have to moisturize. I don't know how you non-moisturizing folks do it, but it simply could not be me. I also use two different body lotions. I know it seems extra, but my skin breaks out so easily, so this is just what I have to do. First, I use the Necessaire body lotion. I use the fragrance-free one. I love this body lotion in particular because it contains a bunch of beneficial ingredients, including niacinamide, vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, which are all really great ingredients for dark spots and uneven skin tone. Because I break out a lot on my body, sometimes, you know, it leaves post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So this lotion just really helps even out the skin tone on my upper body. For the rest of my body, I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. I love this stuff. It makes my skin feel so silky and so smooth. They also have a fragrance-free version of this, which is the one that I use, and I very generously apply this all over the rest of my body. 
Now, I also like smelling good. So I like to take my Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and mix that in with my Neutrogena Lotion. This product contains coconut oil, which is highly comedogenic, meaning that it clogs pores. So I only apply this to the bottom half of my body. I don't use a lot. I only use a little bit to mix with my lotion to smell good. Plus, mixing it with your regular lotion makes it more cost effective because you're using less product. Now, let's say I want my upper body to look a little more glowy. The Necessaire lotion is great because it absorbs into the skin very quickly, but because of this, it doesn't give you any extra glow. So when I want a little extra glow, I take this squalene oil from Biosance. This is 100% squalene, no fragrance, which is great for this portion of my body. It's a lightweight oil that just gives me a little bit more glow when I need it. You can't really tell in this lighting. If it wasn't cloudy outside and the sun was out, you could probably notice it more, but trust me, I look glowy. <laughs> now, deodorant. I don't do natural deodorants. I've tried so many for the past six years and I just don't like them. I sweat a lot under my arms, so I just go with a good old antiperspirant. At night, maybe like once or twice a week, I like to do a little foot treatment because my feet can get really dry. So let me put y'all on real quick. I use the CeraVe healing ointment all over my feet. Then I put on a pair of fuzzy socks and go to sleep. And when I wake up, my feet are so hydrated and moisturized and soft. We just love to see it. Your skin is your body's largest organ. Take some time to care for it. Instead of seeing body care as a chore, view it as a ritual. View it as self-care. You are literally caring for your body and thanking it for serving you. And you know, looking good and glowy and smelling good is cool too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It's the easiest way to support my channel. And if you have any body care tips of your own, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys next time.